Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So we had a lot of fun at uh, a gathering of the Saints uh, Sukkot and uh, so we were away from our land for a little bit and uh, lo and behold we come back to this. Now <laughs> this is uh, my uh, garden, my makeshift garden that I did with uh, electrical fencing as you see over here. Well it didn't quite survive the frost that we had here on our property. And you can see there's been a lot of frost damage. This is our sweet potato patch. Uh, some of it's still viable, but of course this is all gonna have to come up soon. At any rate, excuse all the mess in my garden, but that video um, we might do later, but this is what I wanna do today. Um, it's very messy in here, but this is what I've been doing today. Um, this particular plant, yeah, my tomato plants are all over and it got knocked over. But if you can see these leaves here, it looks very tropical, it looks, it looks quite nice. You can see the frost damage on it already. While this is a turmeric. And turmeric we use here on the land all the time. Here, I'll, I'll actually take it out of the, and show it to you. Okay, here we go. So turmeric, this doesn't have that many uh, roots. Um, it's actually uh, didn't grow that many uh, roots or tubers here, but it's good enough that I can harvest it. And that's what I want right there, the root. And uh, this one, well, you know what? This one doesn't have much. I'll just probably put that back in the ground and see what it does. But that is what I want to harvest. And so what do I use this turmeric for? Well, turmeric's used in a lot of Indian cuisine. And of course, it's one of the components of curry. And so, yeah, you can use it for that. You can dry it, um, use it fresh, whatever. We here on, on Off Good Victory like using it for uh, medicine. Now, we don't really take medicine per se, at least the, the Western type, but we do dabble in some of this stuff. And so here's my harvest. Let me show you here. Here's my harvest. I cleaned it up for you. And by no means am I a physician. Don't take this. I'm just telling you uh, as medical advice, I'm just telling you what I do and our family does. So. Um, this is what it looks like, and it's, a, it's in a tincture form. Um, this particular tincture was made over a year ago. Let me show it to you in the sun. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's shaking around. I got this in powder form. I didn't have fresh last year, so I used it. But now I have fresh. I have the roots here. That's what it kind of looks like. It's almost, uh, oh, it al it's almost ginger-esque, if that's even a word. But... What I do is take this, I can, you can eat it fresh, or in this sense, I'm gonna make tincture out of it. The reason I do is because um, I think it's one of the best uh, throat cold medications uh, you can have, especially off grid. Um, now, turmeric is a warm weather plant, and in our zone in the Ozarks, it doesn't do super well. Of course, it's gonna die if I, if I just leave it in there. I will uh, leave a couple of these these roots in the ground to see how they uh, fare over winter, but I'm gonna heavily mulch it to try to give it the best chance to survive. But at any rate, I harvested these and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna grind it up and make a tincture, put it in uh, alcohol, vodka is what I like to use, and uh, and get the benefits of the, of the turmeric that way. And so yeah, this is kind of our uh, off-grid medicine. Once again, don't take it as medical advice, this is what I do. Um, especially when I have a cold or think about getting a cold or I have a sore throat, I just take a heaping couple tablespoons of this stuff and because of the taste, I don't want to dick it again. So <laughs> it kind of works as medicine, I guess, uh, as I remember it as a child. Anyway, um, yeah, don't, don't, don't be putting sugar on that to make it taste good. Uh, just drink it raw and of course you'll never get sick if you do that. All right, uh, <laughs> shalom.